Hello everyone, my name is Marcos Carbillan Peneda from Grade 8 Cambodia. I would like to present my performance task number 2 in science, entitled Fault Model. Let us start with the normal fault. And now let's start with the questions. Number 1. Which way did point B move relative to point A? As you can see, point B shifted down, shifted to the same level as point A. Let's proceed to number two. What is what happened to rock layers X, Y, and Z? Are the rock layers still continuous? As you can see, when point B shifted to the same level point A, as you can see here, point K behind here also shifted to the same level point J, right here. Half of the ground moved moved down this side. And, left, and the left side moved up, causing X, Y, and Z to be misplaced. And also, and also the rock layer are not also the also the rock layer are not continuous, since the rock layers have have now shifted. Let's proceed to number three. What likely happened to the river, the road, and the railroad tracks? Is this is this type of fault by tension compression tension compression or shearing? Well, the river may may, beca may become a waterfall facing the right side of the railroad and road is cut in half and moved down. And both are not continuous since the points K and B are down or moved down, sorry. This type of fault is caused by tension. Let's proceed to reverse fault or thrust fault. We are back. This is the reverse fault or thrust fault. As you can see, the left side has now moved down and the right side has gone up. The point the points have shifted again. Let's proceed to question number one. Which way did point D move down relative to point C? It moved down to the same level of point C like what happened to point B, as you can see here. What happened to rock layers X, Y, and Z? Are, are the rock layers still continuous? When, as same as the normal fault, when point D shifted to the same level point C, point I also shifted to the same level of point H. Here is point I and H. Here is point B and C. Half of the ground moved down and the right side moved up, as you can see, right here. The right side moved up and the left side moved down. Moved up causing point C, X, Y, and Z to be misplaced. And again, as same as the normal fold, the rock layers are no long are no longer continuous. Let's proceed to question number two. Sorry, number three. What likely happened to the river, the road, and the railroad tracks? Is this type of fault caused by tension, compression, or shearing? Just like the normal fault, the river may become a waterfall and facing the left side of the railroad, left side. The railroad and road is cut in half and moved down. And both are not continuous since the points I and D moved down. This type of fault is compression. Now let's proceed to the fault transform fault or strike slip fault. Now we are back. Once again, the fault model has changed and it looks like this now. This is called the transform or strike slip fault. Let's proceed to question number one. If you were standing to point a, at point F and looking across the fault, which way did the block on the opposite side move? As you can see here, it moved. It moved west. Let's proceed to question number two. What happened to rock layers X, Y, and Z? Are the rock layer are the rock layers still continuous? The points X, Y, and Z 
moved forward. They moved forward. The rock layers are not continuous because the right side of it moved forward. Let's proceed to question number three. What likely happened to the river, the road, and the rail railroad tracks? Is this a type of fault caused by tension, compression, or shearing? The river, the road, and the railroad are misplaced. This type of fault is shearing. That is all for today. I hope you find my presentation educational and, and entertaining. I hope you all have a good day and thank you.